Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing some fall stamping. So if you don't know, I am pretty new to stamping still. This is my second time really stamping with regular nail polish. And Maniology actually sent me over some stamping plates and stamping polishes that I just thought were perfect for fall. So that's what we're going to be using today. It's kind of just a combination of leaves, pumpkins, some plaid designs and stuff like that. Okay, so for the first design, I really wanted to try out this plaid design in the corner. So I went with this kind of caramely brown shade and then I'm gonna put that over a nude base. And I will have all the nail polish that I'm using linked down below in the description box, but I just scraped that and then put my stamper over it and then pressed it onto my nail. And this actually, I think this turned out pretty well. It was a little crooked, on a few lines but overall I was happy with it so I repeated the same thing for the second nail and I just cleaned my plate off with some rubbing or not rubbing alcohol some acetone and a cotton ball just to clean that off really quick and for some reason I think I just stopped recording because I didn't show me pressing this onto my next nail but again I just did the same thing and this turned out pretty cute like I actually like how subtle it is but it still gives you that fall feel you know I didn't use any barriers for this video, so I did have some cleanup, and I just used a brush and some acetone. You could also use tape, and I think some of you use a lint roller just for the cleanup around your nails, so you have that option too. It's really just up to you. But this is how the design looks with the glossy top coat, and then here it is with the matte, which, ooh, I love it with the matte. I feel like it just, it just works. For the next design, I wanted to try out this leaf plate. This is called... Harvest Blooms, and it has just a variety of leaves on it, and then it also looks like it has some flowers on it too, but this is just, I don't know, I really liked the way the leaves looked, so I wanted to put a variety of them on my nail, and I'm just using various fall colors, like this burnt orange and then some browns, and this works so well, guys. Like, I don't know what it was, but I wasn't struggling at all. I just put, I guess, a decent amount of nail polish, scraped it, rolled my stamper over it, and then pressed it onto my nail. And I just, this was so easy. Like I did this nail probably, actually I, I can't tell you a time, but it was really fast. The only thing that took, I guess the most time was just cleaning off my plate and my stamper in between. Oh, and I did end up grabbing this leaf from the first plate I used and that one is called Autumn Wishes. And that's the one that had the plaid designs on it too. And again, this design turned out so cute, you guys. I think this will work really well as an accent nail. Like if you did that burnt orange color on the rest of your nails or even that dark brown color, that would be, ooh, that would be really cute. <laughs> like, I should have done that to show you guys, my bad. Um, but this is it with a matte top coat. And then for the next one, so this is where I did struggle a little bit. I tried to do the Hello Fall on my nail and I don't know, I think I was scraping too much because even when I tried using less nail polish, I had to scrape it twice and it just wasn't giving me the full image. And I tried, I wanna say like three times and then at that point I was like, you know what, this is just gonna work even though there were a few little gaps where I could see like just the whole of the background. So I ended up just stamping it on my nail anyway and I tried to fill those in with a small brush, which honestly I would not recommend at all because it's so easy to mess up this design. But I tried it anyway because it was just bugging me. So if you're gonna do it, use a really small brush, but again, I just wouldn't. Um, and I did put it a little further down my nail because originally I planned to put some sort of gem on the top But when I tried out a few different gems, I just wasn't loving it So I ended up just adding a top coat and then I added a matte top coat and then I added just a gold dot So something subtle, but I still think it added a lot to the design and I think it turned out cute Like I like it again. I like this design more as an accent nail, but hey if you want to put hello fall on all your nails you have that option. So for the next design, I want to try out another plaid look. So we're moving down to this thicker line one and I put way too much nail polish this time and you guys will see in a second, like look at that. It was just smudging a lot. So I tried it again and this time used a little less. That looks like the same amount, but I promise you it's less nail polish. Um, so just scraped it again, pressed my stamper straight down just so it wouldn't get so crooked this time and turned out way better so I just stamped that right on my nail again I'm using a nude base this is slightly actually is this the same base yeah this is the same base as the first design 
and I think this turned out pretty well. Again, not perfect, but a little bit better. And for cleanup, the black was just smearing, so I ended up using tape instead. And this worked pretty well, especially for the big areas. But if I could go back, I would have just put on a barrier. I don't know why. That didn't even cross my mind. So you could use liquid latex or the peel-off tape that I typically use. That would work way better, especially since it's such a dark color. But yeah, this is how the design turned out. And I did decide to keep this one glossy. I just feel like, wait, never mind. I forgot, I ran out of matte top coat. That's why I ended up keeping it glossy. So next design, I wanted to try out reverse stamping. So I, I saw this somewhere. I don't know, I know it's a thing. So my idea of it is you're supposed to stamp on the image and then color it in and then like put it on your nail. So that's what I did. I started with this leaf and then I just used the scraper to get rid of any images I didn't want. You could also use a lint roller for this. And then I'm gonna be taking a brown stamping shade and then just kind of filling it in carefully. I didn't wanna go outside of the line and I also had no technique to this. I'm just kind of putting it in there, I guess. I don't know. But there's a few, one, I don't know why I chose this color. I was thinking brown on brown could be like a look but you guys will see in a second, it really didn't show up the way I wanted it to. I think this would have been better if I chose literally any other color. Like I I don't know what I was thinking with the brown situation, but I think an orange or even a yellow would be really cool with this design, especially with that black outline. But it was at this point I realized my nail is definitely dry and so is this design. So I needed something to stick like make my nail sticky again. And I think I saw this somewhere too. I really don't know where, unless I'm making that up, I don't know. But I saw someone use nail foil glue on their nail first, let that dry and then put the image on top of that. So I tried that. My nail foil glue was so chunky, it's like dried out. So it had little chunks on my nail, but it still worked. I added my top coat and it turned out like decent. I'm not in love with it mainly because the color blends in, but it wasn't terrible, you know? Moving on to the next design, I thought this vine looked so good and I loved how subtle it was. So I used black again, which I'm realizing I use black a lot, but I don't know, for some reason, I rather use black over a color instead of a color over a color, just because I like the way it looks more. But this was super easy to do, scraped it, stamped it. And then for this design, I wanted to do the full leaves just because if you saw my first stamping video, you know I was struggling with those solid shapes. But this worked so well, you guys. I think it's because I pressed down instead of rolling my stamper. And so it was just, it was great. And I just layered them in the corner of my nail. And yeah, guys, I think I'm slowly getting better slash getting the hang of stamping so if you want to see more stamping videos definitely let me know because this was fun like i actually enjoyed this so yeah definitely let me know down below in the comments and i will talk to you in my next video bye